international soccer competition that's truly inspiring and life-changing. And this year, Sacramento becomes the first U.S. city to host the event. Lisa Reitzman is the managing director of the Homeless World Cup, a week-long soccer competition kicking off Saturday at Hornet Stadium at Sac State. Lisa, thanks so much for chatting with us this morning. You guys have been going for 20 years? This tournament has existed for 20 years, and they, every year it's been in a new country, an iconic place around the world. So we are ecstatic to be hosting it and bringing it to Sacramento and, and, and to the U.S. for the first time. Well, that's what I was going to say. Uh, we're, we're happy to have it here, and uh, soccer fever here in Sacramento is uh, at a, oh, no, no pun intended here, a fever pitch. When we're talking <laughs> about how, how fast, I'm, what I'm fascinated about this is how many games you play. Now, at Hornet Stadium, we know there's a football field, but you've hashed that up into three different pitches, and you're playing how many games? 407 days. Four? <laughs> that is mind-boggling. So, so the, the fields are a little bit smaller. Are the players smaller? I mean, is it kind of fast-paced like, like indoor <laughs> soccer? The players are regular-sized athletes, um, but there are four on each side. So it's 4v4. They're, the fields are walled. So that ball stays in, and then you can use the wall to, to play. It makes it a lot faster. It's a lot about angles and precision and um, technique. But it's fast. The games are high scoring. So it's it's amazing for a spectator to watch. You'll see seven to eight goals per game, probably. Um, and the athletes are, are they're incredible. And this this game, they're 14 minute games. So that's why we can have 400. We have three fields. So for anyone as a spectator, if you come for an hour, you're going to see about like nine countries well, playing Um I mean, it's, it's impressive to see here. We're watching video of it as we, we chat with you here. And the action, you're so up close, and that's one of the main differences. When you go to a normal game, depending on the stadium, you could be quite a distance away from the action. Here, it's up close oh, yeah. and personal. You're I mean, in it. And the, the goals and the, the goalkeepers are phenomenal. It's If you love soccer, you got to see this. This is a style that, you know, the, the big field doesn't always allow. But um, yeah. besides that, the players' stories are, are really inspiring. And they've all overcome, like, tremendous hardship. It's a total underdog well, event with phenomenal play. Well, let's talk about this. This is all to raise awareness for homeless. Are some of the players here former homeless uh, folks that have changed their lives? Absolutely. They've all, um, they're, they're refugees. They've overcome living on the streets, overcome extreme poverty. And the players representing their countries are, you know, well on their feet now and working back um, in their life. And so they're here to soccer was a big part of that recovery for them. So yeah. that's why they're here. But they're also want to tell that story and give that hope to other people who are in that circumstance. And this is homeless a, a problem, not only here in Sacramento. We've been grappling with our own problems up and down the state, a huge problem. Uh, Lisa Reisman, thanks so much for bringing this uh, great information and talking to us about this. An amazing tournament this Saturday, Sac State. We can come see it. 400 matches in seven days, people. Lisa, thank you so much it's for joining free. us. It's all free. It's all free. All free to raise all awareness, too. Lisa, thanks so much for joining us. Good luck with the games. Can't wait to see some of them.